Hi guys, a new video that I will do in English, um, just a few ones, again on the BMW M GPS lap trigger. Um, I will just show you basically how to create or manage a bit the tracks and re-inject them in the, the 2D module that you will have on your, on your bike, just so that it works properly. Let's go! Okay, so here we are on my computer. Um, before starting, just a, a few advices. Uh, my first advice would be to have uh, a laptop uh, so that you are able to take it with you on the track, on the racetrack, and first of all, analyze what you are doing during the day. And, and secondly, um, being able to act or, or yeah, modify anything on the, on the starting line that are embedded in the 2D model. In the 2D model. Because yes, in the 2D model, you have a list of tracks that are embedded, okay? So starting lines that are embedded, which are working with the bike. And that's why you have automatic lap times on your bike. Okay, so I will put a link uh, down below for uh, finding out what are the racetracks embedded in the 2D model. Okay, so two cases now. Um, or you do, do not have a laptop that you can take, uh, or you do not have a laptop at all. In that case, um, my first advice would be to verify, obviously, if the racetrack where you are going is in the module, okay? Because otherwise, you can uh, create a, a line, a start line, a starting line in advance, okay? Uh, I will show you how to do that um, in order to have your automatic lap times on your on your dashboard of your bike, okay? If uh, it's not, then okay, I will show you again. And um, if it is, then you should be okay. Now, I got an issue in, uh, in Dijon Prenois in France uh, that I will, I will show afterwards. Uh, in that case, if you do not have a laptop with you, then okay, you, basically you're screwed. Uh, yeah, you, you can't do anything. Uh, second case, you have a laptop and then okay, you take it. Um, in that case, I will show you the usual way of adding a new, uh, a new, a new starting line, okay? Um, no, no, we will need real need to create one in advance. That's not really uh, something that will that will help in that case. Um, or if again you have an issue with the, the starting line which is embedded, uh, then okay, you can just act on it, create a new one, and re-inject everything in your in your 2D module. So I will show you that. Okay, so let's go. So first of all, uh, when you will open, so let's say you are. You have ridden uh, on the track and you are analyzing a set of data, okay? If no starting line is existing, you will not have this red dotted line and you will not have any lap times, okay? So let's, let's imagine that's the case and we want to create a new starting line, okay? So what you will do, double click left on the screen, okay, in the, in the analysis frame. You will have this moving cursor here and you will also see the red dot here indicating where, where you are, where is the bike on the track, okay? And that's corresponding to, to, this, uh, to this cursor. So let's say we want to create a line here, over there. So what we will do, we will left click once, okay? So that's, it's creating um, a solid white line here that you see on the screen, okay? So you will go back on top of it, right click, go to GPS and set GPS start line, okay? What it will ask you now is to save it with a name, okay? So for instance, here I created the Daijin B line because the, this one was not okay, but we'll come back to that later. Okay, so that's, that will create a new dot line, which is the, the, the format of the file used to, to store the, the coordinates in another file. <coughs> now, what we want to do is inject that new line into the table which is where you have all the lines and all the starting lines okay so what we will do we will just right click gps and store gps line coordinates in gps lab table okay it will ask you which one you want to to, to store and you will select the new one and you will just do open and it will inject that into the table which is in the laptop so that's where that's the first step let's say now you have this uh, this line in the laptop but what you want is re-inject that in your motorbike so in the 2d model which is on your bike in order to have the automatic lap times on your bike so how you do that 
So it's fairly simple. The first, the first thing will be to, to connect uh, this, so your laptop, uh, with everything up to date onto the module, so via the USB cable, which is given. Uh, you will uh, switch on the bike so that everything is, uh, is with uh, tension. And you will click now on Logger Communication. Okay. So now it will not work because obviously uh, my bike is not in my house and it's not connected. So, okay, that's why I have error messages. And basically the good thing is that uh, with the kit version, it's, it's a quite simplified version. So you just have a few options and that I will show you how it will look like. So basically here you will have tables and one of the tables will be send tables. Okay, and you will just click on send up trigger position table and that will take what you have on your laptop and copy and erase what you have um, on the bike in the 2D model. So that now you have the newly created starting line in your 2D model and the automatic lap times on your dashboard will work as it should. Now, what you need to do if you have an issue on the track, so what I mean is that, for instance, if your uh, lap times are not properly taken on the race track, so for instance, if you have uh, one lap every two, three, four laps, uh, that which is which is um, taken into account, uh, that, that can be the case, and that's what happened for me in, uh, in Dijon Penoir in France. Like I was explaining before, so I will show you what's, what is happening, actually. So, if you go there, okay, and if you do the, the steps that we, that we have done before, so if you want to store something, you will see that you have two lines here, okay, uh, which are actually uh, registered in the source of your event. So if you go into that folder, okay, you see that you have two dot line um, files, okay, so if I open the first one, I uh, will just do a right click, a right click, open with board pad, and, and okay, that's a very simple file. As you can see, there is just two lines with a set of numbers, uh, which are actually coordinates. Um, so that's the one which is by default uh, in the in the two D model. So let's take the first one. So I will just copy. So I will just copy that, okay, and I will just very simply go to Google Maps. Okay, and now if you just paste that into Google Maps, you actually are at Dijon Penois. Okay. Now what I will do is I, I will activate uh, the satellite satellite view, and if you zoom in, what we can see here with this uh, by default line is that it, it's almost in the pit lane. Okay, which means, uh, okay, how it works, it has a kind of circle of detection, okay, and um, since here it's a bit too, well, it's, it's not on the track actually, if you go there, well, big chances that it will miss you, and that, that's why, in this specific example at least, that's what was happening. Okay, so now, if I open the one that I created uh, with the data I generated, so how it should be done usually. So let me open it. Okay, I will again take those coordinates and again just paste them here. And here you go. Now we are on the track, okay. And now this new line that uh, has been saved and re-injected in the 2D model on the bike will work. That's that's for sure. Okay. Now the last thing I want to to show based on that is um, well, when you do not have a laptop, how you could do to create a new line on the racetrack which is not uh, on the on the starting line which is not in the list. So first thing first, uh, I will give you that uh, that link and here if you download those ones that will be um, the, the files that are used by the 2d module or 2d uh, service pack um, for to, to get the, the lines the coordinates and the names okay how it's looking like so actually you can have it there directly so that's uh, that's the path to your uh, to your 2d track name and 2d track pose okay so that's in your C drive, program data, race kit BMW M, system tables. Okay, and if you open, uh, for instance, the track names, 
you will see all the list of all the tracks that you that you have in, embedded in the module. That, that's quite a lot. Um, there is 331 um, lines. So okay, you can see that uh, that's that's a lot, and you can check uh, if you if you have the track on which you go when you do not have a laptop again. You can check if it's already in. If it's not, and you want to add, there is a quite simple method uh, to, to create a new one. So, okay, let's say uh, I will go back to the, the usual uh, format. I will, I will give an example. Uh, I will search, for instance, um, the Bugatti circuit in Le Mans. Okay, you switch to satellite view and we have, we have the track. Okay. So let's say, uh, well, this one is in the, in the module, that's, that's for sure, but let's say we want to create a new line for this one. So what you want to do is um, zoom in and go where is the, line, the theoretical line or where you want to put it. Uh, for instance, here you will pass more or less, uh, well, in that, at that spot. So what you will do very simply is just left click where you want to put something and click here okay now you have a set of coordinates okay. and what you can do so we will use that okay now you go back to uh, to, to, to the data of which are embedded um, in the in the kit version actually you will have um, a demo data okay which is even if you never ride never rode with the bike or or, or never um, Creating new data, you will have that. Okay, so you go into demo data, BMW and demo, and you will have two dot line files. Okay, so what you want to do is take one, just copy paste. So Control C, Control V, for instance, and you will just rename it. So for instance, you will we will say Bugatti. Okay. Now you will open it simply. Okay, open with Wordpad, and again, very simple, um, very simple uh, file, and, and not a lot of data. And you can very easily take those coordinates. Okay, you copy it, and you will just erase that first line and paste it. Okay, you just remove uh, the comma. Okay, and you keep a space between the two coordinates, and you do the same on the second line so that you have exactly the same lines up and down okay so you have two times the same you save that so control s or file save and now you have a new file here okay now you want to register again like we've done before you want to register that new line into the tables and then re-inject the tables into the module so how you do that, even if you've never written, okay, so you go into the event M demo. You have you will have choice with only one analysis. You go to analysis, and when the analyzer is open, you no need to create anything or whatever, you just do a right-click, GPS, store GPS line coordinates, and you will select the new created line. Okay, now again that will add that into the file into the tables and then you just follow the, the steps that we have done before together to re-inject those tables updated into your 2D model on the bike. And that's it! So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, small and quick tutorial. Uh, give thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, do not hesitate to register um, to follow the channel, okay? Uh, not a lot of uh, videos uh, in English, but uh, those ones I try to do it because I think it uh, can interest more, more people in English. So, don't hesitate to put comments. Uh, if you want to see something or have another tutorial on that uh, BMW M GPS lab trigger, um, I, will, I will also register or give you a path to, to the, the other video I did, um, an introduction to that BMW and GPS lab trigger. So I hope you enjoyed, ride safe and see you next time. Tschüss!